are in front of uh, an M9373 that has been uh, pruned, uh, stabbing a tree bud uh, normally. And all the, 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 the feather has been stabbed at the same level. In, uh, in this case, uh, uh, we will have a very nice response uh, and we will minimize all the blind wood that occur in this variety in the basal part of the shoot. So by doing this kind of cut, we will uh, obtain a shoot coming out here, another coming out here, and then in, next winter we can remove the one that is going up and keep the other one that will be perfectly oriented uh, to avoid any kind of uh, work for uh, bending or manipulation. And uh, again, here, you can have a, a possibility to see the effect of uh, the apical dominance. All the buds are open in this case. And of course, the ones that are really below, far below, are closed. But we don't need uh, those buds open because we already have uh, a good number of feathers here. And uh, we have uh, those buds that are opening. One important thing that we need to note, and those are all flower buds. So. And this is very important because uh, in many cases uh, uh, they can set a small fruit and then in many cases they get blind. So all those flowers need to be removed, but not now. The flower need to be removed when the bulls shoot uh, will be at least uh, half a inch or, or one inch in the way that we are sure that we got a vegetative point and not just a reproductive point because if uh, if, uh, if we take out the flower now, we risk to damage the shoot, and then this will be blind. And when it's blind, it's blind forever, the node. So this is a VAS 383 uh, grafted on M9337 that um, has been stabbed last year with um, uh, 10 centimeter. And as you can see, there are some ramification and um, we minimize the blind, the blind. there is lateral shoot or, or spores that are coming out. So some of them need to be shorted again. Normally, in a, in a situation like that, the stub has been done at uh, 10, 11 centimeter, and uh, we will double the length of the original stub to build up uh, the branches in two years, okay? Especially in this branch here it is very visible that the bud are already pushing, but uh, if I don't stab these branches, uh, this bud probably will set and will bend uh, the branches in this direction, and it, those bud probably become blind uh, or stop to grow instead of give me a shoot. So for this reason, I need to go back and stab also this one in the way that all those bud will open, okay, and give me some short shoot or long shoot. Again, here, same situation, all those buds are opening and I'm taking them. Here, if it's uh, below 10 centimeter, I don't touch it because normally those buds are already dead. But in this case, you can see some of them are already pushing. I can take out uh, the, the, the tip in the way that I will have some shoot coming out. In this case here, again, same story, I double the length of the original one, keeping those bud opening. Same story on this branch here. This one is really strong and, uh, and I use the same strategy. I already have one lateral here. I don't touch because it's really small. If I remove the bud, this die back. And I will stab like that in the way that I will build this portion uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of the branches that will shoot uh, more uh, lateral. In this situation here, this is uh, almost the perfect situation because I got one branches here with a very nice uh, crutch angle, is quite uh, flat going up. I short longer and this one I short shorter. This way I already have two options. So I will build up some spores here and I'm already preparing for a lateral cut here later on when the tree gets old. Same situation here, a lot of vigor. I will double the length of my stub like it is here. Again, this one, I already have uh, those bad opening. I will take it out at the top. 
I'm taking out the top here. And this one that are really small, I'm taking out both of them. Okay. I'm not planning to crop any of the shoots that are longer that I can make vegetative, uh, like vegetative, but I will crop the small one that I cannot touch it, the spores or something like that. So this is what mean that in many cases, all those uh, flower buds that are opening here, the best way in the second year will be to pinch and remove the flower when the shoot is, is coming out, not now because it's too early. And then going up, this is longer, I can stop. This one is longer, I can stop. This I have a double uh, uh, top, I need to take it out. This is the only flesh cut uh, uh, that I can do. And, uh, and this one is another one that is competing. And this one is the growth of the, of the, of the 2022. And this is the pronet tree. We are in front of a VAS 38 uh, tree, uh, grafted on M9337, that has been click pruned from uh, year one. So if you, if you can follow a little bit what happened here, this was the original stub done at the more or less at, uh, at uh, 11 centimeter. And then is the second cut uh, uh, that doubled the length of the first stub and, and, and you can start to see all the ramification that those cut induce. Uh, and uh, instead of having blind wood, uh, you have a uh, uh, lateral uh, option for growing uh, shoots and, and flower bud. Of course, uh, uh, with the click pruning, you have a, a strong vigor at the end of the branches, but everything is, uh, like in this case, in, in, the, in the basal part, is more calm and, and prone to, to, to be productive. So in, um, in this case here, we can start the pruning uh, and um, I don't need uh, this guy because it's too big. I will short again because uh, I need to build uh, also lateral and the one that are really strong like this one, I will stab and this one I will stab. This one I will reduce in this way. So what mean? that now I will start to build what I call the complex and all those will be lateral shoot or, or more um, small spores. Here we have another branch, same situation, first stub, second stub, and you see the big response and, and the weak response behind. But now we can cut those shoot here with different length and, and build up uh, a new branches uh, that already start with ramification. Here, same situation again. I just short the two and I'm good to go. Again here, you can see also the effect of the vigor. In this case, uh, you have less uh, vigor and you have a little bit better response and you have a one, two, three, four, five flower bud. And now I'm going to repeat uh, the pruning just to have the, the, the final size branch. I would love to have all branches like that. And um, for now, I need to manage the big uh, branches here. But uh, in any case, I will start to re reduce the number of those branches uh, from the nest here. Again, here, I got this option that is good. And, uh, and now I'm moving on the other side and and I got some option here because uh, this was the first cut and this is the second one and it's really big and I have already a very nice branch on the top. I will take out completely this one and, and stab again and look from a big branches I have one, two small option here and I'm building up a new one. I'm going to take out all the if I can, the one that are longer, like this one, I'm going to take out the, the tip because uh, the, if they are hanging a fruit and they are going down, they become blind, okay? And, and they get exhausted. And in this case, is, is, is the, 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 what we call the, the ramo misto, if you can see here, they have a flower bud also below the big one that is on the top 
they have one, two, three flower buds. But the point is that uh, uh, those flower buds uh, probably will bloom seven, ten days later, and, and they will give you small fruit size compared to the one that you have here. But uh, in this case, I'm not, I don't want to, to produce uh, because I'm going to use this one to build the spurs for the next year. So I'm not targeting to crop in 2024, but this is for the next year, 2025 crop. Okay, same story for this guy here. So this is the ramification. And, and then here, I clean up this guy here and I stab this guy here. On, on the other side, I have a very nice ramification here. I'm repeating the same things. In, in a normal condition, uh, you, you want to crop this bud, but this is going to bring down the ramo misto, and then it gets exhausted. So it's better to stab and have uh, those one opening and give you a shoot. And this was the first cut, and here um, I'm, I'm defining the length of my branches. And here again, this is really good. You have uh, one, two, three, four that I can crop. This one will be my leader, and this one I'm going to, to remove. So I will have three fruit hanging on these branches. So now we have, a, coming up, because it's a spindle, you have a, 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 a situation that the branches become smaller, and you want to short them a little bit more, but if you look here, you have already one and two flower buds. So that is really, is really what you achieve with the, with the click pruning. Again, if you go up, you have again, uh, uh, this was a short shoot. We take them out. Eventually this guy can go also. And every time I have a shoot like that, that is a ramo misto, because again, flower bud here, and, and flower, you can see how big is this one. Probably this one can set uh, a fruit. This one probably get stinted. Uh, the one that, uh, some of them are already stinted because you don't see any bud at the base of the node. And, and for this reason, I will start over again with the, with the, with the 10 centimeter cut. All of them, because if I crop, I, I'm going to lose them. Uh, as a permanent branches. Here I got an excess of growth. Again, I'm going to stab. Same story here on the other side. Stab again, but look how well responded the, the, the first stab. I got two spores here. That means two fruit. And here, this are, is a competitor. And when there is a competitor, is the only time that I can do a flat cut. And this one also is a competitor. I'm doing a flat cut. And here I'm just taking out again those ones to make sure that I got something. And um, in many cases, if I have a situation like, uh, like this one and I have blind wood coming out here, I need to do an incision with the, with the clipper at 45 degrees like that in the way that we don't close completely the, the cut, and this is uh, still connected, and this reduces a lot the possibility to, to, to break the top of the, of the tree. So, the pruning is, is done in this case. What we learn here is that if we start the tree with a, click, with a stub and then the click pruning, we are multiplying the, the, the option of growing shoot, and we are setting up our trees to be more uh, productive and longer uh, in production uh, in the future. Because uh, all those branches that if you see they have um, more or less an angle of 45 degrees, uh, they will bring always the vigor at the end of the branches and will keep alive in, in low vigor the, the, the formation that are behind. This is the big advantage of the of the click pruning that we are doing on, on this tree. And uh, of course, the other thing that we learn is that if you apply this uh, kind of pruning, you also 
reduce the amount of flower in your trees because you are taking out all the, the small flower on the ramo misto uh, that normally they don't give you any good quality fruit. And with that, this tree is done.